Okay, Mike and I have gone crazy in between the break. We bought a bunch of seed tenders and chicken tenders and Unfortunately, Uncle Carlos could not be uh yeah. asked to uh help us out anymore. So we're down to forty-four thousand dollars. We done broke the farm. Yeah. That's right though. First season gonna happen. I done broke the cedar too. Um, let's go ahead and turn that on. You missed a spot. No, what, I was gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and then make smaller turns and then go down that lane last. Oh, fine. Oh, yours is wider than mine, too. Look at that. So I've now got gaps on both sides. Face is the race. Always something there to remind me that I missed something. Uh-oh. I'm going, 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 I got it. I'll go down to this end here and work. Yeah, get away from me. Actually, might be good if we do that. Like, yeah, no, I'll get away. Meet in the middle. Maybe. I'm thinking about turning around and just running down this line, because right now this is the longest line. Having these lag spikes. I'm surprised you're getting so much lag. Usually we don't have any problems. Could be the weather. Could be. Dag gummit, what happened? It was so nice yesterday. Now it sucks today. Oh, tell me about it. I'm just so bummed out. I went for a walk, had to wear gloves and like a freaking hat. I'm like, what the Art was not pleased. Thinking, oh, finally summer's here. We can get on with our lives. <laughs> no. No, not yet. Yeah, I don't. Uh, someday I do want to. I don't know. I I love Ohio, though, but I don't. I feel like at some point I do want to go out west for a couple of years. My niece, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, it's 90 already. I don't know if I want it that hot, but I'd like to get away and just get somewhere where it's like in the 70s now. I was thinking, I was wondering how southern Colorado is beautiful like the easter side where it's flatter boring go in the mountains well i'm in a wheelchair dude oh still, never mind eastern nice side where it's flatter <laughs> what it's going the eastern side where it's flatter you can always take a ride into the mountains <laughs> with your van you can always if you want to see the mountains just drive for an hour and you're there i figure i just look out my back window right because yep, they're still there because on the side, the Kansas side, it's really flat right until you get to the mountains. So, you know, like Denver is where it starts getting hilly, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's all flatlands right up to that point. Even Colorado Springs, like it's flat until you get to Colorado's, Colorado. Colorado Springs, you know. Yeah, so that's why I figured. I was just... I, but the other thing is I don't know how hot it gets or how dry It's it not is. that hot. It's actually kind of the hot. same as Ohio. It just, it's sunnier. So, like, in Colorado, they have, it'll be 68 here, it'll be 68 there. But it's raining here, and it's sunny there. And a lot, like, mostly when they get snow, it's melted by afternoon. Unless you're in the mountains. Right. But on the flat ground, it, it melts by midday. Because it's always sunny. I used to, there was a couple girls I talked to out there, not like that, but like... <laughs> Some of the leasing girls that I used to work with, and they were like, oh, no, it's beautiful. Like, all year long, it's sunny, and, you know, it's like the sun's always out. It's always happy. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it snows, but in general, by the next day, it's cleared up and it's sunny again. So, mm. they all loved it. Yeah, we'll have this field done lickety-split. We have it done, Licky Spit. I never did watch that show. <laughs> uh oh. Shoo! Uh oh. Wow, bless you. <laughs> Ooh, it's some chills down my spine. 
Mr. Sneezy. I'll try not to run over the neighbor's crops here. Are you caring or? <laughs> wow, we're almost done. <laughs> yeah, believe it. I've only used 800 seed. Yeah, it does go. The oil seed radish goes a long way. Good fertilizer. Good cheap fertilizer. So any good TV you've been watching lately, Micah? Uh... Oh, did you get your new TV, by the way? Yeah. How do you like it? I did. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's not really blurry. It's really, really sharp. Now it's, you see uh, the difference. You're like, yeah, my TV was bad. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was old. You could tell. It yeah. Was old. How many no. years old was it? Seven. Oh, yeah. That's really pushing it, yeah. Surprisingly, that's a you got a lot of time out of it. Usually those TVs don't last that long, you know. The flat panel TVs are like four or five years. Well, it sat on it sat on the uh, the wall of the store for six months too. So. Oh, the one that the first the one that you had. That's yeah. right. You always buy that used. Yeah, you buy it like that. Yeah, I always buy them off the wall. So they run like for six months, and uh, then when I get them, they get a full warranty. So it's like they get baptized in fire, kind of. <laughs> if something was going to go wrong, it would have. Right, and or it will really soon. It's like couches at my house. They get baptized in fire. Usually they don't survive. Now, when are we going to get to see the video of you guys uh, trying to push this car in the garage? And stuff? Um, tomorrow. So I released the MSC video today announcing the car. Right. I want people to be able to see that before I release it because I've got it done. It's up there. I just don't want to release it yet. So I'll release it tomorrow now that once people have had time to kind of absorb that we're going to do it. I can't believe it happened so fast. I hope it doesn't Mark turn into a night. I know. I hope it doesn't like turn into a nightmare man. project. <laughs> <laughs> I know already we're going to have some. There's going to be less work on the motor than we thought because all the hoses and stuff are mostly or most of the hoses and stuff are good. I think that car was running as 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 long as uh, recently as like the 90s. So, um, like, it still had, um, like, liquid oil in it. It hasn't gelled. It's still all liquid. It's not lumpy or anything. Uh, and it still has, like, all the hoses and stuff are fairly new. So, I, I think we're going to have less issues with the motor than we initially thought. But I think the body needs more work than we initially thought. So... There's uh there was Mark was tapping around with a screwdriver yesterday trying to figure out like what was good and what wasn't. And uh the passenger side floor pan is great. The driver side floor pan, he poked right through it. <laughs> he's like Pwah. he's like, Okay, we're gonna replace that. <laughs> so we're gonna have to take it out. My friend Dan's gonna help us weld in a new piece. Yep. Yep. Um, I think the suspension needs to totally be redone, though a lot of it looks good. It's rusty. You know what I mean? Like this is not gonna be like a show car. Well, I mean, if you're going to take this car and you're going to make it like a fun car to drive, you right. want upgraded brakes and upgraded suspension. Yep. But we're not going to do like, like if the sway bar has like rust on it, but it's not, it's still good. We're not going to replace it with one just to make it look nice. Right. But I mean, if, if uh, the new suspension would call for something newer, I would go with the new. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. We're going to replace Especially what we have to. plan to keep the car to have fun with it. Yeah. I would definitely. Yep. Upgrade the brakes and the suspension. Yeah, it's getting all new shocks, new new struts and springs and stuff like that. All that's getting replaced. And, you know, it probably will need new bearings all the way around. All four wheels probably need new bearings. Because um, they've been sitting. So, you know, bearings, if they sit, I think what happens is the oil goes to one side and then eventually yeah, you, you the get... Rust. Yeah, like you get a bad... They go bad. So we're going to have to replace all the bearings. Um, we probably are going to have to do the clutch. So, we do have our work cut out for us. Man, you could turn that into a rally racer. It would be decent, though it's rear-wheel drive. So, it's going to be a lot more difficult off-road. Though, you know, until you know, up until the early 80s, they were running oh. rear-wheel drive. Or 70s, I think. It's when the... when. Huh? 100 milliseconds. 
<laughs> when oh. the when the Audi Quattro oh. came out. Yeah. That's when they went to four wheel drive. So before that, rally cars were um, two wheel drive, re- rear wheel drive. But then when the Quattro came out, they switched over to four wheel. So like the Lancia Delta was the last, um, or not the Delta, the, uh, st- the the Stratus was like the last of the rear wheel drive rally cars. And it was a very fast car. It just it's, it was unruly off road for sure. A very scary car to drive. The Stratos. Bless you, Snoop. Bless you, mate. Meter was snuffling. Everybody's snuffling. How is Johnny doing? How you doing, John? Micah says hi. He still loves those tractors, Micah. He told me yesterday he was playing with them. He said, I just love these tractors that Mr. Micah got me. (laughs) He's got them all parked under my... (laughs) He says you're welcome, Mater. He's got them them parked underneath my... uh, yeah, underneath. Well, no, underneath. I have like this little, uh, like footstool thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's glass, but he uses it like a garage. <laughs> so they're all parked under there. He needs a barn. Yeah, he's gonna have to get him. It's a, it is the barn. <laughs> What's up, Vi? What? What? I didn't understand what you said, kid. Sorry. Uh, Roblox. Mm. Boring. Okay, is there any more fields that need to be done? <laughs> no, uh, go ahead and, and uh, wash that thing up and put it away, and we'll get ba- these tractors put away. You can bring that tractor over to Estancia La Pacha's barn over by the, the wheat field there okay. and park it in there with the other tractors, and I'll bring, I'll bring Big Butt up. I'm going to clean this up and put it away. So the next step is going to be for you. You're going to be planting this field with uh, sugar beet. I'm going to be planting it with... Uh, you just want me to leave the case over here? Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Because I'll be running running the case anyway. Yep, and I'll do big butt on these fields with Estralia. Yeah. I'll just leave it parked out in front of the group. Are you going to fast forward time and stuff? Um, we need to pick up the, the tenders. Oh, yeah, that's right. So let's do that first. If you want to grab one of the small Staros, and I'll grab the other one. We got those Staro 180s. And we'll... We'll pick up the tenders and fill them up um, with what we have at the farm and then fill them up the rest of the way with what we don't. So we'll just keep this up here. Star 180. Did you already clean that thing off and put it away? No, I just parked up front. Oh, tch. all right. I'll leave mine dirty, too, since we're going to be using it again probably in the middle of the night. Now, do we need to have a, uh, do we need to have, um, the front loader? I have no idea which one's the front loader. Like, do you, can you load the, can you load the, um, let me think for a minute, what am I trying to ask? Can you load those tenders parking next to the seed bin, or do you have to actually put the, lift it above them? I have no idea. I have never got to use them yet. Okay, well... You want me to run down there? Yeah, why don't you go check it, and I'll then I'll bring whichever tractor the other answer is. Okay. If we need the if we need the the the, for, the forklift, I'll bring that down. If we need the uh, the start the other no, star. Telehander can tow, right? I'm sorry, what? Telehander. Yes, can tow. yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. Go, Mike, go. Thank goodness I brought this one. This is the fast one, I think. It is the fast one. Yes. Why does this keep turning like that? That makes me crazy. Oh well, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? Do 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 do. How you gonna feel? Do, can't take it all. I'm going to try I'm to get surprised up. At how little there are forests in this map. I'm going to try to get out the Manitou. Well, it is south. Oh well, South America has a lot of forests, doesn't it? <laughs> Apparently not here. Actually, this is Paraguay. I don't know if Paraguay is a heavily forested area or not. If you had a choice of a new crop to bring into the game for 19, which one 
would you like to see? Cotton. Cotton? Yep. And American maps, not Colorado. <laughs> like an actual American farm town map. <laughs> I know they're trying not to make it boring because America really is kind of flat. Like where they do, where we do farming, it's not the most exciting landscape. But right, like you could do an Ohio farm and have hills, or like Pennsylvania, West Virginia. All of those have farms and they're hilly. Okay. Heck, I'll even Southern Ohio. Here. Are you able to fill it up or no? I'm moving it around. Could be just a Pacific side. Oh, it looks like we're going to need a telehander. Okay, I'm on my way. That was my guess. I figured we needed it. This thing's pretty quick, actually. What was your top speed, Micah? 20. This goes 26. Now, what our pipe out needs to be is something. I think that's how you fill the cedars. But it might be because it might might have worked because it might have been folded. Chicken tenders. Yep, you you don't need it. You have to get the pipe out. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going back. No, might as well just bring it. Oh, all right. Sorry. I almost made that Jeep driver have a heart attack. And you hook more than one up at a time. Do, 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 do. Oh, you can put fertilizer and seed in the same container. What? Yep. Are you sure? You put, you, one side takes seed, one, time, one side takes fertilizer, and you can swap between the two while filling up a seed. Is it 5,000 each or something? Um, 5,000 each side, yeah. Oh. So one of these uh, we don't need. Well, no, we'll just fill them both up. Why not? Okay. So should I buy some, or do you need more to, oh wow, look at that. Did you already fill the seat up? Okay. Yep. So let's go ahead and I'm going to buy, let's see. Uh, pallets. We're going to buy, how much seed do you have right now? Uh, 2,500 almost. Almost. I, uh, let me think about this. So you'll have half of a pallet left. So that's good because your telehander can take the rest of it back to the shop. So go ahead and start filling up on that. And I'm also going to do... Wow. Yeah, maybe we should sell one of these. Why don't we sell one? That's fine. Because that's a lot of money. I'm almost out. Oh, you know what? Without, duh. Well, we have seed at the barn, too. I should have... We should have... Uh, oh, well. What are you going to do? All right. We'll sell this thing. Because once you once you filled up, that'll last for a long time, and then I can while you're running it, I can run back and get more seed. You know. See if I can do a pipe in while it's. Hopefully, that was less than a half an hour that we had that. I think it was. Then we'll probably get full price back, or probably not. Yeah, look how nice that is. Oh, it's what? got the trailer and the tent top. That's cool. So you can separate them. You sell more. You get more than one. That's pretty cool, actually. Wow. Yeah, this is nice. So is that all full up? Yep. Cool. So there is seed. There is seed. We got a lot of work ahead of you. Why is that? We don't have a flatbed, do we? Why do I have work? We don't have a we don't have a flatbed, do we? Oh, we'll just leave this here. It's fine. Okay. We can just leave it here. We'll we'll. Just... Wow! Well, look at this. Look at my wheels. Oh, it was like I was spinning. Oh, cause it's so heavy. I mean, that tractor should be able to pull 10,000. Is it lifting it off the... Maybe it's that little wheel is lifting it up. Put your, put your hazards on for safety. 
Oh, I lost that ability. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had to redo my keys. Oh. <laughs> I'm so picky. I'm just going to go rogue. Micah like goes rogue. I'm faster than you are. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this thing's pretty quick. You're slower than me, Seth? Or Mater? You're faster than me? What, what game are you playing, Seth? What? A what? Parkour game? Oh. I'm going to fill this little Charlie up. What's nice is we can use the truck just to take these down once in a while and fill them up. Yes. Yep. Where are the liquid fertilizers on this farm? This alleged farm. Let's see what's our, what our menu options. Just pull up next to it. That's all you got to do. All right. What? I'm just filling this this uh, caddy up. There's some weaker. Try something here. There's something goofy here. Pipe out. It could probably dump it on the ground. Oh, that's something else. Well, in real life, you'd use that to load it into the cedar because the parts where the cedar are, like, it's high up. And then you turn the auger on, and it'll it'll put cedar and fertilizer in the or seed and fertilizer into the tractor. It's pretty cool. No, but look at the trailer, or look at the bucket. It says I can detach it and attach it. Yeah, you yeah. can leave it there. Yep. Now where are the legs? Why? Why is I know the legs aren't popping out. I know. I don't know. So I could just leave this on the field. Yeah, except for it doesn't seem to come off. <laughs> I was doing the same thing with mine. I'm like, oh, interesting. <laughs> it's not working. It's not working quite right. But I too noticed that. I'm low here. I do not want to do that. It is starting to be evening. Shall we fast forward time? What thinkest thou, Micah? Oh. Oh. What'd you do? I ran into the uh, cattle trough. <laughs> Oops. Right. All right, I'm out. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward time. Wait till that. So the cedar that I have, will I just be able to run over the? Uh... Yep. You should be able to try it and see what happens. If not, I'll cultivate for you. I think. Oh, this hasn't popped yet. Wow, I thought it would, but. A, it's like a, my side has. Yeah, weird. This field popped like just a quarter of it. There it goes. Okay. The other thing that's weird is Good the morning, farm, Michael. That one field up by the that you were uh, running into, it had a couple of spots that didn't 
quite take. Well, oh, that's all right. Let's see here. So let's. I want to look at your cedar real quick on the case. This one cultivates directly. So no, I need to come cultivate your fields while you. So I'll be right over with Big Bud. Okay. So wait for me. No worries. Oh, I love that. It's got morning sounds. I never noticed that before. The crickets? Yeah, it's actually got morning sounds. That's pretty cool. Like... Here, here I come to save the day. Moderately large sized bud is on his way. Yes, Evelyn. Go help him, Seth. Yes. Seth, go help your sister. Quit arguing and help your sister. And Evelyn, pour me some more ice water, please. Because you're awesome. Everything is awesome. Now there's two cultivators in here, correct? No. What's the blue one? The big one. That's just called. That's what we're gonna. That's what I'm gonna use. I'll cultivate, and then you can start behind me the with the cedar. One? The yellow one is the culty plow. It's much smaller and takes much longer. <laughs> right. What I'm saying is, what if I pulled one and you pulled one? I mean. Uh, I wouldn't bother. I'd just see, like, let me do two passes, and you can see, and then I'll do two passes. We'll be fine. Okay. Don't forget to switch your seed type to, um, to, uh... Oil and radish? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, to, uh, uh, sugar beets. Oh, you got it? All right. Don't forget, Micah. I don't know how wide the lemkin is. Great. I don't know how wide the... I just like pushed it up. I think it's 18. How wide is your cedar? <laughs> Humongous. Bigger? Big, I think. Let me look it up. <clears throat> oh, 18.2. Still about the same. There we go. So do you want me to um, run along the tracks like you were doing? Sure. Okay. No, you're just 12. This is just 12? Okay, so you'll have to wait for me to do two passes per run. The other one you got is eight. The blue ones. But what size is the blue one? Swift, if you got the Swifter SM1800, that's 18 meters, 18.2. Wait, hang on, hang on one second, Micah. Uh, wait, what's that? You gotta go to church tomorrow, Sue. All right, fine, whatever. All right. I will show you next week. All right, Seth. Have fun. Tell Ryan to bring me half and half. So this one's 18, Micah, or 12? 12. Really? The Lumpkin's only 12? Yeah. Someday we'll have to buy that Flexicoil, but that one's a lot more expensive. That one's like 50. And it always pulls a little sideways. Heck with that one, man. Get the, uh, the Bedner. Wait, which one's that? That's the one that's 18 meters wide. 18.2. 500 horse. So really you need bigger butt, like the big butt, big, big butt. Aw. <laughs> Fooey on that. I could follow you. It'd be sweet. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. 
Oh, on this one? No, I know. Well, how much is the oh, big? Yeah, with that, big with that, bigger, that bigger one. How much does that one cost? It's uh, 120, I think. Oh. Let me make sure. I think it might be more than that. Yeah, 120. No, Actually, it's between 15 and a half. And the cultivate plow is tw is eighty. There's is eighty two. Well, we need the culti plow because that's our plow. Yeah, eight meter wide plow. Yeah, the reason why I don't want to use the culti plow right now is because that's going to replow the field. So right. we're going to have like parts of it that are plowed and parts of it that aren't. <laughs> 